This is Play North, the Manitoba Game Show. I'm your host, Bruce Krent. We're uh, going to update people a little bit, a view from the top, coming right up. Before we do that, let's remind them the games are coming up March 4th to 10th here in Thompson 2018. Use our hashtag, Play North, if you're looking for us on social media, or if you're posting pictures or messages or anything like that. And uh, if you want to volunteer, www.manitobagames.ca is the place to do that. As we go through the next five or six months, we're doing shows every week. Every once in a while, we're going to check in with our two co-chairs, Sandra Ross Hitch and Murray Kissick, for a little bit of a, a view from the top, what it's looking like as uh, from HQ of the Manitoba Games here in Thompson. Uh, this is one of those. We'll be checking in with you guys again pretty, sh pretty shortly for sure. Let's just start with what's going on behind us, Murray. They're, the games are a long ways away, but stuff's happening right now, and this is one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. What's going on? Well, for those who may or may not recognize where we are, we're in the Gordon Beard Arena, and behind us, uh, you can see that the old wooden bleachers have been taken out. Uh, we have contracted Royal Stewart out of Lockport uh, to come and install. Uh, in this area are going to be folding bleachers, so it's going to be by remote control, so it's going to be good for the crew of the city is that they can then fold in against the wall, gives them good access behind the boards as opposed to coming on the ice like before. The other thing that will be when it extends, it's going to have seating for, uh, for about 300 people, which is something we didn't have before. It kind of get rid of the people standing along the glass, and it'll be uh, a much more uh, decent place to come in and watch uh, during all the tournaments we have here in the facility. For sure, no, it's going to be great. As much as the atmosphere in here is pretty amazing when everybody's hanging off the glass, it's maybe time to step into 2017. Well, I think so. But the other part, I think more than anything else, not only for the fans, I mean, when we decided this would be one of our legacy items, Sandra, Todd, and I, it was, it was really important that we also do something for the city workers because we're every day with them when we see them with our kids or ourselves and anything we could do to help them out and make their job easier is also good as well. For sure. So that's one thing that's going on. We sort of took the summer off a little bit. Not off, but uh, things slowed down a little bit over the course of the summer. People recharged a bit. Now we're ramping up. There isn't much time. we got a lot to do. So what are some of the biggest moving parts, Sandra? What's going on with the games right now? Uh, I think it's just to get back into the mode and get it going now. It's, you know, we've taken time off. We need to now just push forward. There's things that need to get done. We can't go, oh, uh, you know, we have next week to do it. No, we have to do them now. And it's just, you know, to reach out to uh, people of the community, get, get our name out there, uh, get some fundraising funds done, uh, get some money in the bank, and then go from there. For sure. So death, sex, and money are the three things that people are awkward talking about, except for you. <laughs> We're going to leave death and sex maybe unless you go there, we'll see. But uh, in terms of money, I'm guessing we could still use a few bucks to get the games going. Where are we at? Well, where we are for sure, of course, is what we've gotten from Sport Manitoba. 75,000 capital, 75,000 operating, which the city has also matched. There's also 25,000 at Sport Manitoba has put forth uh, due to a northern uh, grant that's been available. Now, there is also money coming in from major sponsors uh, that have sponsored the summer and winter games uh, throughout the history. Uh, Manitoba Hydro, of course, is the major sponsor uh, uh, for, for the whole issue. That's not just the uh, only thing we need, though. We certainly, as Sandra alluded to, we need uh, people from the area to step forward uh, to come. And, and Tim Johnson runs uh, the Friends of the Games. He's the guy to get a hold of. Uh, he'll be looking for you, and I know letters, you've been in talk, contact with him, getting letters out there to businesses and people, but uh, everything we bring in is going to benefit not only the athletes coming from across the province, but it's going to benefit the community at the end as well. So uh, the, as much as we are, I've always been pushing on people to donate and everything else, we're doing it again for a special purpose because uh, we want to leave more behind than other people have done in the past. For sure, and we can use money, that's probably the most important thing for us, but also some services as well, and so uh, we're going to be reaching out to some businesses that we think can provide things that help the games, because that's valuable to us as well, right? Yes, it is. You know, and Sandra can allude to that on the business side, if you want to talk about that. Sure. Sure, like services, uh, you know, transportation, bringing things up here to get them here, uh, we're going to need that for sure, so... Perfect. We've uh, pushed it a bit on a couple of the other shows, but we got to hit it again. We need volunteers for the games. So how do we get? How do you get involved? If I want to volunteer, well, actually, I've been volunteering for yeah. a while. But say I wasn't, what right. should I do? Uh, you know, it's uh, go to the Manitoba Games website, which is www.manitobagames.ca, and click on the button that says volunteer here. And I think the 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 
the point that I want to make is lots of people are coming up and saying, oh, I'm volunteering, oh, I'm volunteering, oh, I'm volunteering. But you have to go to that website and sign up. I can't do that for you. Thank you for giving your name. But just take a few moments, go to that website. If not, Samantha Leahy is our uh, chairperson. And if you'd like to contact her or our games office, they can do that too. Absolutely. Every the other thing with the volunteers, we always say, if you have an expertise in a field, you know, that's, we would like you to, to, to look and see what we're offering and go to those places and, and say, hey, I'm, I'm good at communications and got, good at, got a technical background in IT or whatever it might be. Or, uh, hey, I got a couple of sons who are big grunts and we need, you need anything <laughs> lifted, right? That's all necessary. Yeah, we need a little bit of everything for sure. Every uh, journey comes with some unexpected, uh, maybe bumps along the road or serendipitous little activities. And so we've embarked on a journey so far for you guys. What are some of the, what's something that you really didn't see coming sort of good or bad? What, what's been a surprise to you so far in this game's journey? Well, I guess it's a combination of good and bad. We have had, we were very fortunate that we got a lot of people to sign up and be part of our executive and be part of our board right off the hop from various walks of life, uh, retired and not retired. Uh, and I'll be honest, a bit of a disappointment is sometimes we, for, we forget that we're not doing the job we do, whether it's in the government or in the, in the high school or the elementary schools, and to drop that and to come forth and, okay, kind of re-gear. For some, it's been very difficult to kind of re-change how they've always done things, especially if you've maybe always been a foreman, always been the boss, tough not to be the boss, and vice versa. So uh, because we came in late, yeah. city said January, you know, we really didn't really get going till I'm going to say end of March. Yeah. Uh, that's also been a bit. So that's been a hurdle for all of us. We all know it. We all sit around the table and we all understand. But as Sandra alluded to, uh, we better get going. <laughs> now, now's the time. How about for you, Sandra? Any surprises? Uh, yeah. What's 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 going on? I think it's just the time factor, right? We need to get going right away. We can't sit back and go, oh, I can have a meeting because there's a meeting next month. We need to have meetings after meetings after meetings now. Uh, just, you know, check those checklists off um, and and ask for help, right? Sport Manitoba is there to help. And, and if you're stumbling, they're the ones that should be helping us out. And we need to know we all like control, I think. And um, that's the only thing is we, we need to reach out to each other and each other have strengths. So it's okay to say, okay, I'm struggling here. Can I, can I get some help in this area? That's all. Yeah, the issue is going to be sport itself dictates the games. It's kids who are age 10 to 17 in 15 disciplines. Uh, there could be a scenario that we've all experienced. It could be that someone doesn't show up, it changes the schedule, team can't make it, or something happens, ice plant goes down, uh, massive snowstorm like we kind of had back in March. Uh, certain things are going to occur, uh, and that's going to change how warehousing works, how food services works, you know, a, a lot of things. There's a bit of a domino effect that's going to occur. So we're going to get our emergency plan together as best we can, hope those kind of things don't don't happen but that being said um, Todd Harwood uh, with Sandra Crawford Susan Horvath in regards to sport everything is really on pace right now we're very fortunate that we have so many facilities that we didn't have to do anything to yeah. um, so that put us uh, pretty much uh, far ahead so it's just and everything's close here right everything's yeah. close outside of the ski hill cross country skiing is just across the bridge and interesting enough, the pool for swimming, and we're going to use, use La Bois de Nord for table tennis, so that's good for transportation. Otherwise, everything's down here at the TR, TRCC in the high school, so really good that way. We're in good shape. We're close. We're going to have to get to be a little bit of a closer-knit group. Yeah. We can use your help, so volunteer at www.manitobagames.ca. Sign up there. We can use a little bit of everything. It's for the Manitoba Games, powered by Manitoba Hydro, coming to Thompson March 4th to 10th. Hashtag us at uh, hashtag play north and find us on all social media at Manitoba Games.